Metforming targets all the hallmarks of aging, right? We agree on eight, nine hallmarks of aging. Metforming targets all those hallmarks of aging. Now, you must listen to that and say, I'm crazy. How can this drug targets all those hallmarks of aging? And the truth is that it's similar to almost any other drug. You know, resveratrol had multiple effect and and, and um, uh, rapamycin had all, all those gerotherapeutics, people started arguing it's doing this and that and not this. And really what happens is really quite simple. If you take an old cell or an old organ or old body and make it younger, then a lot of things are being fixed, okay? That doesn't mean that it's doing it primarily or independently, it's just fixing it as part of being a gerotherapeutics. Uh, and it's true for the hallmarks themselves. You can fix one hallmark and affects all the other. It's exactly the same thing because those hallmarks are not the causes of aging. It's something that goes wrong with aging and if you fix it, you extend health span or lifespan, okay? So this is the same with the drugs. Now, it does mainly two things, I think. On one hand, it targets the mitochondria, the complex one of the mitochondria. And shifts energetic in a way that has a lot of metabolic, uh, metabolic outcomes on insulin action, but also mTOR, then autophagy, you know, a lot of other things on one end. On the, on the other hand, it, because it's kind of a little, uh, it's, it's an inhibitor for the mitochondria, it prevents some of the oxidative damage, inflammation, and other things. It also has actions that are not through the mitochondria, not through AMP kinase, not not other ways, but we don't know which of those effects are important for aging, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay? So we rather use <coughs> metformin with everything that it seems to be doing rather than select and, and say, you know, let's just hit complex one of the mitochondria. It might not be enough. لكل من لا يستطيع شراء مكملات مكافحة الشيخوخة مثل الأنمان والرسفراتور بسبب ثمنها المرتفع فدواء المتفورمين رخيص جدا ويمكن لمعظم الناس شراؤه من الصيدلية لذلك إذا كنت لا تستطيع شراء مكملات مكافحة الشيخوخة بأكملها يمكنك على الأقل البدء بالمتفورمين لكن لا ينبغي تناول هذا الدواء لكل من يعاني من أمراض الكلى أو نقص في الفيتامين باء 12 الدكتور ديفيد سينكلير يتناول 850 ملغرام يوميا من هذا الدواء قبل النوم لكن لا تنسى الاستشارة مع طبيبك قبل القيام بأي شيء أراكم في الفيديو المقبل